everyone. I put out the call. What would you like to learn? What would you be like, like to be confident in? And sugar stages was one of the things. Well, here we are. Rebecca here. Welcome along. Uh, if you're watching this on replay, thanks for joining. I'll be sharing this on my YouTube and Facebook as well. And if you have any questions, fire them at me. If I don't see them, please don't be afraid to send me a message and uh, ask anything you need to know. All right, so what we're doing tonight is tomorrow I'm gathering with the other team leaders in our branch up at Ipswich and we bring something along to share. So I love this uh, caramel almond cashew slice. It features in the Whole Food Child collection on Cookie Doo, uh, but you can just search it up. I know I have that book somewhere, but I have a feeling someone's lent it. If you have kids, that collection is amazing to have a look at. Um, the book itself is really good as well. There's lots of extra information in the actual book. Uh, but this slice is a postnatal slice. Believe me, I'm very well postnatal. However, it's delicious. There's no sugar in it. Um, it's not sugar free. It's got honey instead, but it's refined sugar free. Then we're doing the naughty. So we're doing a nice and a naughty as well. I put the call out not that long ago to you all to let me know what recipes frighten you, what haven't you tried, um, what might you like to be more confident with, what can I show you, teach you to help. And sugar stages came up a lot. So this is my video explaining about the sugar stages. For those who don't know, the TM6 has a high heat element. So we get a high, um, higher temperature than the previous model Thermomixes. So with that, that means we can caramelize, we get more flavor. Hello, hello. We also can do things like caramels and sugars and peanut brittle, not walnut brittle. So the recipe, if you're searching it up, is walnut brittle, however, I'm doing peanut brittle because I don't really love walnuts and I know I had tons of peanuts anyway. So you can certainly switch it out. Um, my beautiful Bessie Liz has done it with macadamias. It is amazing, amazing. Hello, beautiful Julianne. So the first one I'm doing today is the caramel almond cashew slice and it's got in brackets postnatal. This is, if you know anyone in your life who's had a baby, and believe me, I remember back to that time because um, my youngest is only 10. Bring those people food. Bring new mums food because the last thing they feel like doing one is cooking and they probably have little time to eat. So this is a beautiful thing to make to take to a new mum to give her the energy and some nutrients to help with that as well. So now let's get started. We're going to do the good sweet first. We're doing the caramel almond cashew slice first. So it says to grease your tin, line it, we've done that. Willow, please. Now, what it's got here is adding in the almonds and the cashews that are activated. So if you're not sure what activated means, activating your nuts is basically when you purchase them from the shop, it's a matter then of uh, soaking them overnight and then that is called activated. But uh, I'm doing the roasted nut version. So you can do either or. Or if you don't want to roast and you don't want to activate, it works just with the almonds and the cashews anyway. Okay? So I roasted those in the oven. They've cooled down enough. And I'm popping that in. I'm just going to wash my hands. The bottom of that tray was a little bit greasy. So it's 150 grams of almonds, 150 of cashews. I think I was a little over with 300 there. Um, the dates, I didn't get those out of the fridge. Let me get that. You want the medjool dates. Um, and there they are. Grab those out of the fridge. So the medjool dates. I should have done this off camera because there's quite a bit of date in this one and I've got to pick them now. Where's my knife? I did forget about this part. So, medjool dates, you want to get the pits out of course. 160 grams. So, generally speaking, I think that's about 16. 
because they weigh roughly 10 grams each. So one, two, three. And the other thing this recipe asks for is cranberries. Um, I'm actually leaving out the cranberries because I feel with the dates it's enough. Yeah? But it's a really delicious, yummy slice. If you didn't have cranberries, you could put dried blueberries in there. You could put whatever you like. I have both cranberries and blueberries, but I'm leaving it just the caramel and almond flavour without the cranberries in there. Uh, another one of the ingredients in this recipe is wattle seed. If you can get your hands on wattle seed, fantastic. Uh, I'm not in the business of wanting to go out and just buy one ingredient for one recipe. Every time I make this, I actually add in uh, hemp seed because I have some of that on hand. And that's a bit of extra omegas and protein. So three seconds chopping. So we've blitzed up the nuts and the dates to a point. Now this is where it wants us actually to add the cranberries. So that's it all sort of mushed at this point, okay? So I'm not putting in the cranberries. I'm just gonna skip that. It wants some coconut oil melted. Oh, I forgot it's over in this cupboard now. Let me grab it. I'll just use my liquid coconut oil. do. Uh, almond butter and of course you can make almond butter. Uh, you, can, you can buy pitted dates but they're generally dried. These are the fresher dates. So I don't think you can buy them pitted. You may be able to. I'm not sure. I just buy them like this in the container from the supermarket. Um, like that. Okay? So the dried dates are different to the medjool dates. The medjool dates are fresher of sorts. They're still dried, but they're fresher. Softer, not dried. Does that make sense? Willow. 60 grams of honey. So yes, make your almond butter, buy your almond butter, choose your battles, pick your wars, do you, as I always like to say. <laughs> okay, honey, it does say seed tips, you can use maple here. Um, I'm actually fresh out of maple. I've been dying to get up to our new Costco, um, but the line up to get in is just ridiculous. So actually, while I'm up in Ipswich tomorrow, I might even just go to that one and lick the spoon. Oh, I love honey. All right. And this is where it asks for roasted wattle seed. I don't have, but I have some hemp seed. And as I said, that's just an extra thing of protein. Omegas. So just scatter that in. All right. And now lid on. Oh, no, sorry, vanilla. I'm just going to put a bit of vanilla bean in there. Another thing I need to replenish at Costco. Uh, cinnamon. Oh, I'm jumping ahead myself. It's been a while since I've made this, actually. So a bit of cinnamon. Teaspoon, it says, but, you know, do that. Sea salt. Lid on. And then this bit, right, Blends it up for 30 second, 40 seconds. Sometimes I like to blitz it a little longer. Yes, it is on cookie dude. It's exactly that, caramel almond cashew slice. No, this is um, the liquid coconut oil. You buy that in Woolies. So it doesn't go solid, that one. I 
always blitz it a little bit longer. The less time you blitz it, the more chunky it will be. Um, otherwise, yeah, no, it's still too chunky for me. So I'm actually going to take it off reverse and do it with on the sharp side. I like it smoother, so it's more caramel. There's your answer. It's one of these. <laughs> Thermomix. <laughs> it asked that so many times, I've put it on the board. Yeah, I still want that a bit smoother. So you can totally override recipes. Did you know that? Make them your own. That looks good to me. Right. So sometimes in my time of being a consultant, I've come across people and they say exactly, Jules, that's why I did that. Um, now, I come across people and they say, oh, no, I like to be creative and I like to do my own thing. You so can still do that. All right. This is not the law. They are guided recipes. Make them your own. If you don't like how it turns out, tweak it, change it, fix it. Do your own thing, keep notes, and uh, and you should be fine. But you absolutely can be as creative as you like. You're only restricted by you, with what you do and how you use this machine, okay? I cannot stress that enough. I don't understand people who have them and say, I don't use it, I don't know what to do. Um, Seriously, find someone like me. If you know anyone who says that, send them my way. Let them see how I use it and let them get inspired. Now, this is why I like to blend it a bit longer. Can you see how that looks like the inside of some delicious chocolate bar you would buy? It comes really nice and sort of nougat -y, I like to say. If you blend it a bit longer, then it's even more like that. All right, so that's my top tip. Just through learning, through making this many times, I still like the bits of peanut because it is, it's almost like a Snickers, exactly. Melissa, it's exactly like that, but a healthy version. So you'll see recipes around of healthy Snickers and stuff like that. Basically, this is exactly like that. All right, you can actually just eat this part, but we are going to put it in the fridge uh, and come back and melt chocolate after we do the peanut brittle to put on top. All right. So I understand this is probably a bad time for people maybe eating dinner, having dinner, cooking dinner. If you want to, this will be saved, the recording on my Instagram, on my YouTube and over to my Facebook. So uh, please don't stress. You have to go and do something else, but you really want to catch this content because this is, I put the call out to my followers on Instagram and TikTok if there was something that they didn't feel confident with, if they didn't know how to do it or whatever, um, then to please tune in, uh, let me know. And Sugar Stages was one of them. That's coming next. Melissa, this is not TM6. This is TM5, TM31. It's all models, this recipe. So I'm trying to just smooth it down the best I can with the back of the spatula. And then this goes in the fridge, right? So again, you'll see that nice, looks chewy and caramelly. Blending it that little bit longer gives it that more chewy, caramelly look. If you leave it without that extra blend, it's more chunky. And if that's what you like, great. Absolutely magic. All right, so while this is in the fridge, as I said, I'm gonna go on now to make the brittle recipe. Now, I will just let you know that it is, these recipes take time, okay? The sugar stages are around the 20 minute mark. So we're gonna have a bit of a gap where I'm gonna just be waffling, waffling to you all, basically. So if you have questions, you must, must, reach out and Jules I kind of agree right 
user 845 whatever that question has been asked so many times I have a list as long as your arm uh, on TikTok I have videos telling you of my favorite recipes um, the, the list is so long and it does change quite often but the one answer I tend to give is the sour cream chicken enchiladas I love that recipe we all love that recipe that's probably my my oldest favorite but yeah I find new favorites all the time so it's a really hard question to answer because I have too many so but yeah I have videos on that very subject on my TikTok. But yeah, this one, this one I love, right? So there we go. See how it looks nice, glossy, caramelly. That's what you want. So to get that, blend it longer. And it's blended on the blunt side, the reverse. So on your uh, blades, on your go here, you'll see the little um, symbol of the blades or you'll see uh, an arrow, okay? It's preset on the arrow. Put it on the sharp side. That's exactly right. <laughs> it really does depend on what mood you're in, doesn't it? All right, so in the fridge of that. Just check the dinner cooking away over there. All right, so transfer the tin, put it in the fridge until firm. All right, so I'm gonna come out of that one, go to my week, and now we're gonna do the warm-up riddle. Start cooking. Yes, I wanna quit the other one. Now, what's really important with the sugar stages recipe? No, Jade, arrow is the direction of the blades. So spoon is the first speed, but down underneath you'll see the sharp, the symbol of the blades, or you'll see an arrow. The symbol of the blades is forward, the arrow is reverse. Okay, we can go through that on Friday, honey. Um, so, sugar stages, it's very important that you follow the recipe. However, I have had the opportunity when I was in Adelaide with the team leaders back in, was it May? Uh, no, March, wasn't it? Um, we had an amazing chef come and he was uh, from a restaurant or cafe in uh, South Australia that is very sustainable. And what I mean by sustainable is that they use everything. They waste nothing. And what he was doing for us on stage was making a caramel using a corn syrup that he'd made from the husks and leftover bits of the corn that they grew that they used in recipes so the husk being the middle and the and the the outsides they made a syrup from that and with that corn syrup he adapted one of our sugar stages recipes to make a caramel with it it was so fascinating so fascinating it was the highlight for me of that trip i love when we get to see these um amazing guest chefs teach us tricks and things like that that just you know would never ever even think of or do so um i'm going to do the recipe as it is however i am putting peanuts instead of walnuts uh purely because i'm not a fan of walnuts and i had heaps of peanuts so with the sugar stages you must follow to the quantities as much as you can First thing it wants is the nuts, so I'm going to weigh in 200 grams of peanuts. And I'm guessing the next question will be, are they salty or not? I can't remember. No, they're not salty. Definitely not salty, they're just raw peanuts. Right? And it wants to chop up the walnut halves. I don't want it to do that, so I'm going to skip that. I'm going to leave the peanuts as they are. Oh, <laughs> should have read ahead, could skip that one. All right, so on my prepared tray, uh, it does say baking paper. I'm just going to use the silicon liner. We're just putting those nuts there because we're going to pour the toffee over the top. 
All right, so there you go. If you were using walnuts, you'd be weighing them in to chop them up. However, I'm going to be using the peanuts as they are like this. So just tip them out. Excuse me, I can see my dog going with purpose. I think she needs to go out to the bathroom. You need to go outside? Oh, too late on the mat. Good girl. All right. I saw a heading, but we do have a little puppy pad at the door, thank goodness, so she knew to go there. All right, next. Clean and dry the bowl. Great. I could have saved myself that step. Uh, let's just go with here's one I prepared earlier because um, it's easier, right? <laughs> okay, clean and dry bowl. All dry. So, sugar, it says Demera sugar. So, this is UK in my assumption. I'm using raw sugar. All right, 250 grams. Hopefully, I have enough. Oh, that's a little too much. Now, I'm going to have to take that out because you need to stick, stick to the recipe as best you can. Yep, close enough, I reckon. 70 grams of water, and I've put sugar all over the bench. Let me just clean that up. So now we're making a toffee. All right, so for whoever was asking before, this is definitely a TM6 only recipe. Okay, 30 grams of, un of butter cut into one piece. Goodness. Very specific. Oh, well, it's going to have to be two pieces because I didn't quite get enough on the one piece. I'll stick it on it. Yep. And a tablespoon, sorry, pardon me, teaspoon of lemon juice. And that's a teaspoon of lemon juice. And now we're putting on the splash guard. So this is used with the high heat function when prompted. Sometimes with sugar works, we don't need it. This one is saying, put it on, so do it. So here we go, 22 minutes. Now, I have it on good authority that this is actually better at about the 20 minute mark. So, we're gonna go with that. Uh, it won't actually let me change the time. So, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Hey Siri, can you time 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Okay, so, 20 minutes. I have experience and other consultants have made this. We just find that sometimes it's cooked a little too much and it can be quite brown. If you like a darker toffee, do the full time. If you're not a fan of dark toffee, which I'm not really, cut it back to 20 minutes. All right, so, mm. great. Now we've got 20 minutes and the slices in the fridge I might just give this bowl and put it into here. Into the dishwasher. Now, if you have any questions, now's the time to ask them. I might actually make myself a cup of coffee. It's not that time. So oh yes, please don't be shy. Ask questions because I have 20 minutes with you all and I don't really want to do it in two parts. I will, however, edit the video to cut all this bit out of the middle because whoever's watching it on replay won't know what the questions are. It'll look like me just chatting to myself. Now, the next step of that recipe that I'm about to do um, finish rather, which is, hello Willow, which is the caramel almond cashew slice, 
we're melting chocolate with that one. Now, I can come out of here, go to my wick, go to that recipe, and it wants for it 150 grams of dark chocolate. Okay, and that is hopefully what's in here. Where is it say? Oh, there it is, 180. So it's close enough. Oh, that sounds amazing, Auntie Blossom. Please share the recipe when you make it. So, Bora, um, it depends on how many languages you make. Uh, you can speak, rather. But there's, um, that's a good question. No, Melissa, you don't have to. You can absolutely use other. But it is, for me, it's, it's a no-brainer. It's just nicer. Especially as the caramel part of it is quite sweet. Um, preset recipes, that's a really good question. Um, I think there's, we're heading to the 100,000 worldwide. Um, if you're so fortunate enough to speak other languages, you can absolutely um, have access to so many. I think with the English speaking Australia, USA, UK, I think it's 9,000 odd. I did the math, excuse me. No, you don't. Wait, naughty dog. I did the math once and it literally works out that you would never make the same recipe ever if you didn't want to because they're adding new recipes all the time as well. So, um, I'm going to stand here eating peanuts. This is dangerous. So, yeah, loads, loads of recipes. It is a subscription too, just so everyone knows because I think some people... Um, I'm maybe not sure. The machine, when you purchase a TM6, it comes with six months subscription to Cookie Doo. Now, anybody out there can go and do a free trial of cookiedoo.com.au uh, for 30 days. Have a look. Check it out. Suss out the recipes. There you go, Jade. Thank you very much. I knew it was getting up there. Um, do the trial. Have a look. But the filters is important. Now, in my link tree is a link to my YouTube. I have cookie do lessons there that I've recorded and saved for everyone to show you how to get the most out of it. Plus, you can upload your own recipes as well. Where are you going? Why are you in here? Come on. Um, yes, you can upload recipes that are your property. You obviously can't go uploading other people's cookbook recipes. But we also, yeah, the lemonade is amazing, isn't it? We also can import from our other recipe platform, which is recipecommunity.com.au and add that to our cookie do as well. Seriously, you are spoiled for choice. Search up ingredients, search up recipes that are known to you. There's likely to be variations of them on there. Um, yeah, exactly. You would never have to make the same recipe for the rest of your life, really. All right, let me get that chicken and potatoes that I've just cooked up in the air fryer. That's my other favorite thing. Whoa. tonight for the boys is in my air fryer two chicken marylands and a pile of potatoes i'm going to seal one of those because i love baked potatoes I, I love potatoes full stop but i love baked potatoes so guys that's ready um and there's a little bit of that salad left from last night too 
I'm seriously not hungry after uh, my huge lunch today. Yes, Auntie Possum, good point too. The other fantastic feature with the Cookie Do platform is planning out the week, um, planning out your menu for the month ahead if you want to, creating a shopping list with no, that menu. No. And no. then um, ordering in the ingredients that you only need, not going crazy and buying stuff that you don't need. Cookie Do is a fabulous tool. When we first got it, we were all a bit like, really? Um, but it's just improved and got better and better. So. Yeah, the lemonade is amazing. It's in the basic cookbook, actually. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Now that you're saying that, Zach, I'm looking at this lemon and thinking, hmm. I think I need more than one lemon, though, don't I? I could do lemon and lime. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yum, yum, yum. So yeah, lemonade. The lemonade recipe is using the whole lemon, the whole fruit, and then you mix it in and strain it through your sim basket, and it's a real winner. So yes, yeah, so after my huge lunch today, this is all I feel like, is this one tiny little potato. Because <laughs> I just love potatoes. <laughs> what do you want? I've got nothing for you. Little puppy dog. It's very hot. I'm not going to eat it yet. Right. While that's happening, I'm going to put away the things that I don't need anymore. And because I'm on this mad mission to keep my pantry and my new cupboard so nice and tidy that I'm very motivated to take things out and put it away straight away. Uh, what else? That can go away. Um, yes, I had the choice of chocolate chips or this block of chocolate. I'm going to go with the block um, because the chips are good for making cookies, which I still need to make as well. I haven't done that yet. Oh, I'm going to steal another potato before my son comes and takes it. All right. Because maybe I could stretch it to two potatoes. <laughs> yes, that, that would be delicious too, wouldn't it? Yes, that would be absolutely delicious. So you can see now the air fryer stopped. It's just very peacefully doing its thing. I don't know if you can see the steam coming out of the top there. So we'll go back to that recipe. So we're at the 14 minute mark. So like I said, another 12 minutes, I'm gonna stop it a little sooner. When I replay this on Instagram, you'll still have this big gap in between. But when I share it over to my YouTube and Facebook, I'll edit it and cut this bit out in between and just make it more streamlined. So it's more um, friendly for people to watch. All right, that needs to go away too. There. So any other questions while you have my attention? Oh, Jade, I love your kid. I can't wait to meet her. Mine are with their dad this week, so it's been really good, actually, because I've had um, a lot of work with the lead-up to the end of the month. So it would have been extremely boring for them to be here today. Um, I mean, I should have got my other machine out and... <laughs> I can't wait. Um... I should have got my other machine out and had two going, shouldn't I? Anyway, doesn't matter. We're working with one today. All right, let me put the honey away. Um, the cinnamon we don't need anymore. Now, when you're using the sugar stages, what's important is to read preview so we're going to get everything out as quick as we can and then we're using the pre-clean mode with water and vinegar. So have your vinegar ready. Let me get that out of the cupboard. Um, it actually cleans up really, really well, which is amazing. 
Uh, Bronwyn, I haven't. I've only used it to cook rice. It's still sitting nicely in the corner back there. Looking all shiny and... Uh, yeah, I sort of figured there's no point in really dragging that out until we know what's happening with those and when you can all get one because otherwise I'll have 50 million questions from people going, when can I get one of them? But yeah, I have made, I have made rice in it, that's it. The other night when I did the stir fry. Uh, coffee. Do you want a coffee, honey? Yeah, please. Do you have a cup? <laughs> All right, so if anyone is watching this on replay, you just simply scoot right past this boring part. <laughs> Yes, Jade, it is really. I've done the lollipops. I've got the lollipop molds and sticks. I did them and I put in um, some colour mill food colouring and they came out so pretty. They were very delicious. Very delicious indeed. All right, sorry if my eating offends anyone. Eight more minutes to go on this one. ready for the cleaning part of this process. <laughs> I 
I might have a Tupperware drawer. Actually, now you've said that. No. Because I gained a cupboard when I cleaned everything out, but yeah. it's not there. Oh, you found it? Yeah, it's really damaged. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's, it was there. <laughs> oh, well. Well, we know where the red jug is now. My watch says two minutes. That's weird. What you doing, little baby? What you doing? Hello. <laughs> hey. Puppy, haven't you? You're not a baby anymore. But you are just so beautiful. Yes. Alright. Oh. Oh. Did you drink it too fast? You've gone down the wrong hole. too fast don't they just love her she's so big she gets to come on the road trip tomorrow i'm very excited and um you know all the team leaders that are coming um i think two or three of them are bringing their kids along so this puppy is going to be worn out by the time we get home tomorrow all these kids are going to be playing with her and she's going to have a ball aren't you you're going to play with the kids tomorrow They're gonna love you, big fluffy bundle. Yes, they will. They absolutely will. All right, I set it for 20 minutes, so it's all very quiet. I hear it's quiet. Not a sound. She will have a good sleep in the car on the way home. All right, I'm gonna stop it there. Okay. Here's the caramel. So we're going to pour it over these nuts. And you kind of want to work quickly like you would with any sugar because it will start to set once it comes out. But just so you can see, it doesn't make a giant mess in here. I'm going to try and contain it a little bit on the nuts and now I'm going to put the water and the vinegar in the bowl and clean that so I'll rest that there for a minute so next Vinegar. Next. Lid on. cup. Pretty clean. All right, so now we just lead this to settle. But look. <laughs> Yes, it is quite dark even at this stage. So don't be afraid to stop it a bit sooner uh, because it does go really dark with the full time. And it is so easy, it really is. 
So don't be put off by sugar stages. Have a go. The other great favorite, of course, is the honeycomb. And again, same tip with the honeycomb. Just take another two minutes off the time. So stop it a little sooner. So there we go. Look, it's very hot. So that's the naughty. Peanut butter brittle, not walnut. So, when this has done its thing, I'm going to use that bowl that I put the nuts in, but I shouldn't have really technically put it in because if there's a bit of the nuts in the chocolate, it doesn't matter. We're just going to go back now and melt the chocolate for the other slice that's in the fridge, the good one. So this one at the top here, this is a good one. This is a tick. This is a bit of a, you know, it's nice, but it's a sometimes food, right? <laughs> Okay, so leave the brittle to cool at room temperature before you break it into pieces. Store it in an airtight container. So you can see she's pretty much moving now. Oh my goodness, that's so delicious. All right, my week actually recently cooked. Back to the caramel almond. Resume the recipe where we were. Clean and dry the bowl, chocolate. So we're gonna melt our chocolate. <coughs> Excuse me, I've broken that into pieces. Um, I am gonna come out and just break it up a little more. Right, so back to the recipe. What's part of the recipe you don't need to come out? There you go, hot tip. So that's just great with that chocolate, right? So look at that powdery, fine chocolate ready to melt. <laughs> I need to trust the process sometimes. Scrape that down to the bottom. And then we melt. Forty degrees and speed one. <clears throat> I might steal another little bit of the brittle that's gone. Crunchy now. Delicious. Alright, so we'll leave that for a bit longer. And while that's melting there, I'm gonna grab the slice from the fridge. Now it says to leave it for up to two hours, but once I put the chocolate on, it's staying in there overnight anyway. So, do you want to go out? See you walking to the door. Set that lemon aside for something else. Grab my pits in the bin. Who's asking? Oh, based in Sydney. Fleur, I'm on the Gold Coast in Queensland, but I can help anyone Australia wide. And if you want someone close to you, I know lots of beautiful consultants in Sydney, reach out and I'll put you in touch. Mm -hmm. I always find this needs longer. So I'm just adding a bit more time to that.
Well, Fleur, I'm happy to uh, put you in touch with a local consultant if you want to have a demo at home with husband. Um, otherwise, I can do a virtual with you uh, on Zoom um, or show him my videos. I have some really good videos on YouTube of cooking with the Thermomix. Um, but yes, if you want a Sydney consultant, I know a beautiful girl, Tammy. I'd love to put you in touch with her. She's a very good friend of mine and she'd look after you. Yep, that needs longer. So it just depends on the type of chocolate. Um, look, it's not too bad once I stir it around a bit. I think I want to do longer. Yep, I want longer. It's, it's there in the thermo server, Robert. To a low terrorizing neighborhood. A little bit longer. Now, the other thing you can do too when you're melting chocolate is add a dash of that coconut oil, it helps to do it. <laughs> well, Fleur, that is not uncommon. But there are quite a few fellows that follow me on here who have purchased from me. So um, I don't know if Zach's still around, but Zach's one of my customers. Um, I, guys sometimes just don't see the value because exactly right, they're not doing any cooking. What has he got in the shed? Does he have thousands of dollars of power tools that he uses once or twice a year? Come with that one. <laughs> quite common you know all the fancy power tools that get used for an odd project and yes Jade is one of my customers um, I went up and did a demo showed him the Thermi but uh, there's another saying that we have and that is seek forgiveness not permission when you start dishing up amazing meals he's gonna love you <laughs> well, I've got to stop picking at the caramel. It's too good. Too good. It's definitely something you'll only make sometimes because it is, it is too delicious. You want to eat it all the time. But yes, I can't help anyone Australia-wide. Please remember that. Just because I don't live right near you doesn't mean I can't support you. I have got customers all over. And in fact, I do have consultants on my team in Sydney. I should be talking about them, shouldn't I? Oh, there you go. I don't think you're unreasonable either. Honey, do you work? Do you have an income? Put it on zip, pay it off, 25 bucks a week. And like I say, seek forgiveness, not permission. Because, yeah, there's um, always money to be spent when they, they want something, but it's quite a common thing I hear in my nine years of doing this. And, look, I get it. For some people, it is a joint decision. But, yeah, for the blokes that aren't doing the cooking and go, yeah, nah, not having that, well... What else are they not going to have then? Do it. Link in my bio, Fleur. I'd love to look after you, my love. Do you know what? Now is the time, and I'll tell you why. The price of the Thermomix is going up on the 3rd of July. $220 more. So if he's whinging about the money, get one now. If it arrives and you just absolutely can't get him over the line, then simply and purely sell it and get your money back. You will get your money back because they're going to be worth even more money from the 3rd of July. All right? But link in my bio. 
Put the Thermomix in the cart and just do it, babe. If you work and you earn money, get it on Zip Money, 25 bucks a week. And it's your thing, it's your toy, it's your... <laughs> you know what? He'll be one of those blokes that ends up using it and going, why didn't we do this years ago? <laughs> I love that, Colleen. Yes, Nimini, you may as well, darling, get yourself something a bit special, hey? She's pretty. All right, guys, there you go. Sugar stages, and we've done a good and a bad chef tonight. Um, although, I must admit, the chocolate that I've used in this, on this good slice is probably not the best, but there's definitely um, sugar-free <laughs> options. Excuse me, wait a minute. Um, you can get the higher cocoa content. This was a 70%. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to thoroughly enjoy this tomorrow. So, now here's the other hot tip. And I know my son will love this. I'm going to put milk in here. So I've scraped out as much as I care to scrape out. Let, let's show you this while we've got the recording going. Because I can edit out the boring bits. We're going to stick some milk on here. So enough, enough for a, a big cup because he'll drink it. It's a cold, cooler winter's night on the Gold Coast. It's not exactly cold, but it's cooler. So with that chocolate, put it back in here with the milk. Come out of that recipe, blah, blah, blah. And then I want to do, hang on, four minutes, 80 degrees. Excuse me. Let's do speed three doesn't really matter and that's going to turn that into a hot chocolate so just try and scrape as much of that off in there just rest that there for now so the good version and the naughty version sugar stages don't be afraid sugar stages are amazing just follow the recipe you can't go wrong um, nuts are flexible. I've used peanuts, not walnuts. You use whatever you like. You could even put dried fruit in that if you're weird, I guess. <laughs> uh, so thanks everyone and I'll catch you next time. So there you go. I hope you found that informative and helpful. If there's anything you'd like to be confident with, reach out. Let me know.